Well, hi there. How are you doing today? Uh, God's blessings upon all of us. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and welcome to another cat sermon. Uh, I have been thinking about a lot of different things lately, and I've been thinking about uh, perseverance in the face of adversity and how great God's love can be. And I think I'll talk about that a little bit today, but first we'll start with a little prayer. We're going to just go face this way, and we're going to keep the Divine Mother in our minds and we're going to think about the Divine Mother in all of her aspects, okay? All right. Oh, sweet Mother, please guide us. Guide us so that we may remember you, thank you, and perfect our worship of you. Guide us so that we may see you in everyone that we pass by. Guide us so that we may see the face of Krishna in everyone that we meet. Guide us so that we see the footsteps of Christ in everyone who we see. Guide us so that we may always come back to you and we may always remember your beauty, your love, and your perfection. Thank you, Divine Mother, for everything you have given me. Thank you, Divine Mother, for everything you have given everyone on this planet. Thank you for being there even in times of suffering. Thank you for being there. Please guide us. Guide us from the unreal to the real. Guide us from darkness unto light. And guide us from death to immortality. Om Kreem Mahakali Kali Namaha. Okay. So, I think it's very important to remember that no matter what is happening in your life, you can always turn to God. You can always turn back to God and you can always confess your sins and you can always have someone to talk to in God. Pour out your heart to God whenever you can. I was reading about um, some Catholic mystics and they have, they often tend to emphasize uh confession and i think the confession is actually a good thing to do but i think rather than confessing to a priest but which you can do if you're part of that tradition but i think rather than confessing to a priest i think sometimes we just need to sit down and just pour our hearts are <laughs> pour our hearts out to god we need to take all of the suffering and all the things that are bothering us and just lay them out before god and just really really emphasize you know the desire we have to get closer to God and really say, you know, sometimes we want, we need help to not do bad things. And sometimes we need help to behave better or to, um, you know, move past certain obstacles. Sometimes we get angry and you know what the best thing to do when you're angry is the best thing to do when you're angry is to remember God's love and light. Remember that God is in whatever is making you angry. And to offer up that negative emotion to God and say, I don't want this. Take it from me. You know, when you pray, you shouldn't just pray for forgiveness, but you should also pray for uh, discernment, understanding, and uh, for that love in your own heart to grow. You know, God can plant the seed of love within us, but if we don't nurture it and let it grow, you know, then it's, it's just going to stay there as a seed forever. And we want to let it grow. We want to be big, happy plants, I think. So that's just something for us to consider. And I think it's very important for us to remember that there is never a moment in which God is not with us. Even at the heights of suffering, even when we see horrible things happening, uh, God is still there. Even when we sin, God is still there with us. There is never a moment when we are abandoned by God, and there is never a moment where it, we should abandon the thought of God. Even in moments where we're not proud of it, we should still sing the praises of God and still always strive to get closer to it. And you know, it's kind of interesting. I was watching um, a lot of footage of the jungle and the jungle uh, has so much craziness going on. It can really feel like sometimes we live in the jungle, like with all the different uh, things that are out to get us and all of the uh, different things like oh, a little dangerous hiding in plain sight but when we embrace God and bring God into our hearts and remember to always turn and bring ourselves back towards God it can be uh, incredibly fruitful and it can be incredibly fruitful when we remember to offer and sacrifice um, up not just our negative emotions but also our time and offer that time to God and and spend time even if it's just a little bit like just 10 minutes you know meditating on God and meditating on that divine love and meditating on the saints of the past and you know confessing before God laying out all of our sins before God and just asking for genuine forgiveness and asking for us to get better and you know 
God also knows what humans are like. God knows that, you know, sometimes people are going to be difficult and sometimes people are going to apologize for something one second and then, you know, sometimes we have these bad habits that just come up on us the next thing we know we're doing something we're like, oh yeah, God, if you if you forgive me, I'll never do this again. <laughs> but you know, God knows what is sincere and what is truly in someone's heart. God also knows what is better for us, whether or not we understand it. And sometimes we have to have faith, even if it can be very difficult in uh, negative or difficult circumstances. We need to remember that uh, God is always present and always loving. And we should also remember that we are always trying to um, praise God. But we praise God not just by prayer and not just by saying praise God, but we also praise God by serving uh, the people around us, by uh, overcoming hatred and greed and delusion, by attempting to improve, by making it so every day we step closer to God, even if it's like a little step or even if it's like a huge leap. Uh, we do these steps and we get closer and closer a little bit at a time. And we always remember the truth, which is that uh, God wants us, wants what's best for us, and God wants us close and loving. And even when we have difficult times, God is still there and God is always listening. And I think that's really important for us to try to remember and always try to come back to. You know, it's like sometimes we have these moments where we feel uh, really alone. But the truth is we are never alone. We can always look within to find that spark of God, that bit of consciousness within us that can reflect the whole world within it, but can also show us and point us to God. And, you know, our ancient practices, which, you know, uh, prayer and meditation or yoga or, you know, uh, fasting or whatever we want to do, you know, when we do those with a sincere heart, we move closer to God every day. And we should always remember that God's always there with us. And I think that was just kind of what I wanted to say today. And uh, not too crazy. I just thought sometimes it's good to remind folks uh, that there is always a hand being held out for them when they need it. And remind them that, you know, even if things don't go our way, we can still rely on God. And we can still feel the love and presence of God when we truly focus. Anyway, that's just what I wanted to say today. So we'll stop with, or we'll end with a little prayer. All right. Oh, sweet divine mother, please guide us. Guide us so that every day we may increase our love. Guide us so that every day we may increase the joy and prosperity within ourselves and around us. Guide us so that we may be a beacon of hope, that we may be a tool to work good things in the world and to pray and guide each other and be a support for one another. But you, God, are our ultimate support. You are the true friend of all mankind and of all the universe. Every star as it shines is reliant on you, Lord. Every single bit of grass grows because of you, Lord. Every single thing that we encounter on a daily basis is still a manifestation of you, Lord. Let us always remember that. Oh, sweet little mother, let us always remember that. Thank you for everything you've given us, and please guide us. Guide us from the unreal to the real. Guide us from darkness unto light, and guide us from death to immortality. Om Kareem Mahakali Kali Noha. The excellent. Anyway. That's just what I wanted to say for today, and I hope that you all have a blessed day, and always remember the blessings of God wherever you go, and remember that you were loved. Okay, bye, love you, bye, God loves you, bye.